today's video rival war rigs clash on the infamous hellscape highway as we present our latest gaslands battle report well hi folks it's lee from skirmishwargames.com welcome to the channel some of you may remember that a couple of weeks ago lynn and i each made a custom war rig for gaslands the game of post-apocalyptic vehicular combat from osprey war games so today we're going to have a brief but no doubt violent uh, war rig conflict on the Hellscape Highway, the official uh, Martian toll road that runs between Port Andreas to the uh, town of Crater City out in the desert, formerly Las Vegas. Basically on both sides of this uh, maintained and defended highway is uh, unaffiliated territory. So it's full of rad scorpions and minefields and cannibals and raiders and all kinds of undesirables out there in the wasteland. So the only way to really get quickly from the west coast to uh, the deep desert is by this highway unless you want to skirt around you know another 800 miles as we mentioned in a previous video there's been a long simmering feud between the red running gaslands racing team and shishka bubba's hellscape gumbo a bunch of wasteland restaurateurs nobody quite remembers how it all started it might have been a uh, gambling dispute or a pro mars versus anti mars political discussion but uh, the next morning somebody's head ended up in the gumbo pot and these guys have been sort of uh, angry at each other ever since. So the Martians know very well that uh, one uh, group is traveling from Crater City to Port Andreas, and the other one's traveling the opposite direction. So they're bound to meet in the wasteland at some point. And uh, who knows what they'll do? Maybe they'll pass by peaceably. Maybe a few words will be exchanged. One thing's for certain, though, if there is vehicular mayhem on the Hellscape Highway, there's no doubt going to be Martian camera drones in the vicinity to capture the action and uh, then they can play it at halftime during the next arena match. Okay, well, let's take a look at our two teams. This is the Red Running Racing Team, and Lynn, why don't you tell me a little bit about your war rig and your uh, Outrider vehicle. So for the Red Running War Rig, I've got all of my weapons mounted on the trailer. I've got two miniguns that are side-mounted, one machine gun that's front-facing, one machine gun that's back-facing. Gave one of the crew Molotov cocktails, and I gave another a shotgun. For Skull Blazer, I gave him a turreted machine gun, and for the second crew member, I gave that one a rifle. So these little uh, blocker cars are only 20 cans, and then uh, I think the war rigs, we did a 60 can build, correct? Correct. So you have two mini guns uh, mounted on the side of your war rig, so it's basically a buzz saw if anyone's driving by it. Yes. And on this side of the road, we have Shishka Bubba's Hellscape Gumbo. This is not actually a Gaslands racing team. They're a service provider. They go out into the desert and they hunt sandworms and they turn them into gumbo in their uh, mobile processing center here. And then they serve up the soup at Gaslands Arenas from coast to coast. So basically they have uh, tank treads, a, a top mounted rocket launcher facing forward, a uh, caltrop dropper on the sides, and then uh, they have the sandworm harpoon here um, for bringing in the big beasts. And um, because sometimes those sandworms get harpooned and uh, they don't want to go quietly, they got the coup de gras here and he is called the compensator. So this is basically just a 20 can car with a big freaking gun, a BFG out of the Gaslands time extended expansion. And um, he's also got two perks, the loader perk out of the original book. And that means that if both the crew members operate the gun at the same time, they uh, hit on a three, four, five, six instead of a four, five, six. And then the compensator crew also has headshot, which means if they hit every six that they roll does three points of damage instead of just two. So potential to do a lot of damage with the BFG. Unfortunately, it only has one shot and it does quite a few bad things to the firing vehicle, such as uh, knocks it down to gear one, gives it three hazards, shoots it backwards, I think a straight short, right? Yep. And last time we uh, experimented with it, it ran into a concrete barrier after it fired. And I think it blew up your blocker car and that ended up blowing up my war rig. So hilarity ensued. As a Martian owned toll road, the Hellscape Highway is actually reasonably well maintained. And that means when the various teams are doing their skid checks, they can push it at no hazard penalty. But if they go off the road, then the normal hazard penalties apply. So in preparation for today's game, Lynn and I each wrote down secretly how our vehicles would be entering this patch of road. That is the gear that they're each in and uh, their relative positions to each other. So we're just gonna place the vehicles and then see what happens when these two teams uh, skirt each other out in the middle of the Hellscape Highway, uh, going to uh, the next Gaslands event. So are you ready? I'm ready. So both of my vehicles are entering the stretcher highway in gear three. And because my war rig has tank treads, it's uh, max gear is reduced to three, but its handling is increased to three. And I have placed him 
in the center lane, dead center, and then the um, blocker car, the compensator. So he's going to be about three inches up, which is going to place him right about there. Okay, what's the placement for red running? Well, it looks like center is the thing to do. Okay, so they both ride in the center line. Well, it's the furthest away from all the right. bad stuff. And then uh, I went next to the cab, middle of the lane. Okay. Both are in gear four. So basically these two teams have kind of just uh, been driving through a big radioactive sandstorm and they uh, come through a cloud into a clear spot and notice that, uh, boy, there's another truck coming and it's those guys. So uh, this is going to be short and sweet and probably very violent, but uh, we'll start by rolling for pole position and then see what happens. And you think someone will swerve or is this going to be a big wasteland game of chicken? It might be a big game of chicken. All right, rolling for pole position. I have the purple dice. Purple die. So in the name of full disclosure, we are working with some different rules here from the um, time extended supplements. And um, we were a little rusty on our gas lens playing. We haven't played it in a couple of months. And um, there's some new weapons that we haven't used before. So, so we did uh, do a practice game to kind of work some of the bugs out, but because we're dealing with uh, a lot of new stuff and we might be a little rusty like our vehicles, uh, forgive us if we make a few gameplay errors as we go. So the war rigs do have a special rule called tanker anchor which says at the start of its activation, this vehicle may gain plus one hazard token to skip its current movement step. This vehicle may then increase its current gear by one. So it says may, so maybe you don't have to. So you don't necessarily have to take a movement step with the tractor trailer, but you can. All right, so gear one, you have pole position. I'm in gear three and you are both, in, both of yours are in gear four. All right, place your first template. I'm gonna activate skull blazer. Skull Blazer. So that is a, a straight medium, and he's in gear four, so he gets a free shift? Yep. Okay. Are you gonna roll any skid dice? No, I don't need to right now. Okay. All right, are you gonna shift up? Nope, he's in gear four, oh, so we'll stay four. there. Okay. So he's just gonna discard that shift, move forward. Okay, my war rig is in gear three. He is going to um, veer just slightly. See if that helps or not. His handling is three, so he gets uh, three dice. Shift, shift, hazard. We'll get rid of that hazard. And um, he's at max gear anyway because of his tank tracks and I don't have any hazards. So we'll just discard that shift. Now moving the war rig, you're supposed to move the tractor. And then the trailer is supposed to cover as much of the template as possible. If a war rig begins its movement step unarticulated, which means he's straight and, be and becomes articulated at any point during his movement step, he gets a hazard token. That puts him at one hazard. And then if he begins his movement step articulated, it must end his movement unarticulated or gain a hazard token. So if he can straighten out on his next activation, then he won't get another hazard. So now we're at the combat step and uh, the rockets, even if they were in range, they're kind of pointed this way because the trailer's articulated, so that's not gonna work. But I'm gonna assign one uh, crew member to the harpoon in case he can shoot uh, Skull Blazer. And I'm gonna assign another one to the Caltrop dropper. So we will drop some Caltrops, I don't know, right about there maybe. And then the harpoon, we'll see, check the range on the harpoon. Not quite in range for any harpooning at this point. Next time. Next time, maybe. So that's my war rig, that's Shishka Bubba's. Now, uh, what do you got? I've got my war rig. Medium straight, right? Yep. Not gonna roll any skid dice. Since I don't have any hazards. All right, so he is still heading down the middle of the road. And I think he's in range of the machine guns. And then the rest of them are just gonna have to use their regular guns. All right, yeah, just barely in range. I think I'm gonna use one of them with the Molotov cocktails. So you have a forward-facing machine gun. Yep. You have three other guys with their pistols. Mm -hmm. And then you have one guy who's gonna lob a Molotov. Right. Okay. Two dice for the machine gun, three dice for pistols, and one dice for the Molotov. Okay. All right. So the okay. Molotov doesn't hit. 
three hits. Three hits. That's a six. That's two, three. So three hits. My guy's in gear three. He's going to try to evade. And he evades one. So he takes two hits. So he goes from 20 down to 18. Does not catch on fire. Unfortunately. Now it's uh, my turn. Yes, your little BFG guy. Yeah, so the compensator, my uh, guard dog here, has uh, no hazards. He's in gear three. He's got one shot with the BFG. He also has Molotov cocktails. The big thing is he has perks. He's got the loader perk, which makes it easier to hit, and he's got the headshot perk, which does more on critical hits. So we'll see. Maybe he can get a lucky shot in. I've hemmed myself in a little bit, so I think I'm going to have to do the medium straight and then roll some skid dice. So the medium straight... Gives him an extra shift in gear three. He's got a handling of three. Shift slide hazard. Now, because we're on the road, I could push it and uh, have no penalty. So I'm going to push it with this one. Shift. Okay. We're going to uh, keep the slide. And then I guess I eat those shifts because I can't do much with them. Unless you want to shift up or down. Unless I want to shift up or down, which I don't at this point. So he is going to go like that. We'll see if I can clear it. I don't know. So he is at uh, one hazard for that maneuver. Okay, so that's everybody in gear one. So now we go to gear two. What do the caltrops do when you hit them? Uh, if any part of the vehicle's maneuver template or final position overlays the caltrops burst template, that vehicle immediately loses two hull points. And then the template is removed. So basically you run over the spikes, you take two hull points, and then it's gone. I think I don't want to run into you just yet. So I'm going to do a gentle, which doesn't give me anything. Any bonuses or any negatives. So no skid dice. So you're going to be articulated. So that's going to be a hazard. That is going to be a hazard. Wow, they're going to scrape each other's paint, it looks like. I can still do my front gun, and so same thing again. Yeah, you have one machine gun for two dice, three handguns for three more dice, and then Molotov for one more dice. That's going to be the orange one. Yeah. All against the war rig. Shish kebabas. And it hit. The Molotov okay. hit. Molotov hit, and then two other hits. So I'm going to try to evade with three. And I got two evades. Okay, so now right. you'll have to see if you evaded so, the Molotov. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that one. Okay. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that one. So the so Molotov, Molotov hit. hit. So you did one point of damage and, you're on and fire. set me on fire. So he is now at uh, 17 tall points. And he's got flaming gasoline on him. Does he have any hazards? He has one hazard because he was articulated. Ah, yes. Remember. Okay. Okay, so I'm activating the war rig as my uh, first activation in gear two, turn one. Will we make it to turn two? Probably not. He's on fire, so he takes one damage. He's on fire, so he takes one damage immediately because he has a hazard and he's on fire. So he's down to 16 hull points. Now, if I go straight... I think you're going to hit me. You're going to sideswipe me. Yeah, because I'm just going to angle just that way. Try a veer. So he's going to veer. That um, doesn't do anything at this gear. And skid dice, yeah, I'll, I'll roll three skid dice. What the heck? Spin slide shift. You're on the road, so you can push it. Yeah. Slide, slide. So he's going to slide. We'll have to remind ourselves what happens to a war rig when it slides. When a war rig resolves a slide result, do not apply the slide template. Each slide result results in a hazard token. All right. So we will uh, cancel one of those and then take another hazard for that slide. And then we'll move, kind of uh, skirting our arch rival here. We're going to throw some uh, sandworm bombs at him and cover as much as possible per the regulation. I take another hazard because I'm articulated. I may be touching the edge of your gun there, but I don't think that's enough for a collision. I don't think so Maybe either. we're scraping some paint. Yeah. 
Yeah, I do have Molotov cocktails. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one guy drop a load of Caltrops uh, on the war rig here. And then I'm going to use the other guys. They're going to do four of their five flaming bottles of gasoline. So you have how many Caltrops can you drop? Five sets? Three. 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 So first things first. I take two damage. Take two damage. We're going to drop some Caltrops okay. right there underneath the war rig. So that's okay. uh, so two. So now I'm at 18 points. And then we're going to throw four Molotov cocktails. Fire! So two, four, five. So five hits. And I'll be on fire. And you'll be on fire. Because I don't think I can... And yeah. you didn't dodge any of them. So... So you take five hits. Okay. And you're on fire. Okay. So everybody's on fire. You've taken five hits. How many hull points... Are you down? I have 13 points now. You have 13 points. I have 16 in my war rig. And because he ends the turn articulated, he uh, takes another hazard. So that puts him at four hazards. All right. So that is my war rig. Now uh, you do your second vehicle activation. Okay. You're doing a medium straight. Yep. So for mine, I'm going to do a medium straight, which is going to put me pretty close to mine. So you're not but... going to roll any dice? Nope. Okay. Okay. So now it's my second activation. So this should be interesting. I put myself in a little bit of a pickle here. So I think the only thing I could possibly do would be the hairpin turn. I think you're still going to hit yourself. All right. And you take a hazard. Take a hazard for doing the hairpin. Handling of three. Slide, spin, Hazard. I'm thinking you want to re-roll all yeah, those. Yeah, we're going to take advantage of being on the road here. Shift, shift, shift. All right. Nice. You so can get rid of some hazards. We'll get rid of two hazards. So that brings him down to zero hazards. Then he is going to move forward. So he's going to scrape some paint there on the tank tread. So that is going to be um, gear three. Okay, so he, because that's his own war rig, he's going to try to evade. The war rig is going to evade. And so they each get one hazard from that. So the war rig is now at five hazards and the BFG hauler is uh, at one hazard. All right. Okay, gear three. Gear three. Okay, so gear three and you have pole position. So doing a gentle with blazing skull, huh? Which is probably gonna cost me two damage, but I'll get rid of those. Okay. Oh, that was probably dumb. Because now I'm blocking my war rig. But I can choose not to move with my war rig too. Yes. And gear up. Yep. I think it says you may gear up. Okay. So I don't think you have to. So the so war rigs can sit. They, well, apparently. And I don't just know if you, attack. I don't know if that um, means you're just letting the trailer drag you. Can you do that indefinitely? I don't know. Let's read that rule again. Tanker anchor. At the start of the activation, this vehicle may gain plus one hazard token to skip its movement step. The vehicle may then increase its current gear by one. So yeah, I guess. If you wanted to gear up, you could, or otherwise you don't have to. It doesn't yeah. sound like it. Okay. Okay, so you decided not to do any skid dice. Yep. You made your move. And how many hazards are you at? Zero. Zero. Because I haven't done anything yet. But I did take two hull damage. Oh, from running from the cal traps. traps. Right. Mm -hmm. However, I can shoot things. That's right. You can still open fire. I think we'll shoot at oh, your war rig. war rig. Okay. And he should be in range for both of them. So three dice. And you're in gear three, so I you am. get three of eights. Right. You did so two, two damage. damage. So down to from sixteen down to fourteen hull points. Your turn. My turn. What are you going to do? Okay, gear three for the war rig. He's on fire. So he takes a damage. So he takes a damage, so that takes him down to 13. He is going to do a medium straight. He's trying to get out of dodge. Well, straighten out. Yeah, I get one free shift because of the medium straight in gear three. Shift, hazard, hazard. I'm going to take advantage of the road and roll those again. Shift and spin. So we'll get rid of that spin. 
we will eliminate two hazards. So I'll move him up and then the trailer has to cover as much as possible so he kind of straightens out, which is good. No longer articulated. One crewman at the Caltrops, one crewman with a Molotov, two crewmen with handguns, and one on the harpoon, if I can shoot this thing. So he's going to harpoon him. Caltrops hits the war rig, brings it down to 11. So one with a Molotov cocktail and two with regular handguns. So the Molotov didn't hit. Right. Handgun hit twice. You're going to try to evade. You're rocking along in gear four. You didn't evade. You take two points. So I'm at nine. Wow. Getting whittled down. And then we're going to fire the harpoon. So it's a five die attack. Okay. You get to evade with four. Yep. Twice, three, four. So that's four hits. Want two evades, so just two hits. Okay, so Skull Blazer has been harpooned. Okay, the first uncancelled hit on the target spins the target vehicle on the spot to either face directly away from or directly toward the attacking vehicle, uh, whichever requires the smallest degree of rotation. So that would probably be like this. Okay. So like that. Yep. So that triggers a collision window, but you haven't collided with anything as a result of it. And the second and subsequent uncancelled hits on the target then move the target a short straight toward the attacker. So, okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so that kind of just pulls you out of the way, actually. Mm -hmm. Well, lucky you then. So you got harpooned, but didn't really do much. Okay. And I'm just going to sit still and attack you. Okay, he loses a point from being on fire. Takes hazard of being articulated, and then you're going to do tanker anchor and not move. Right. So you're going to use tanker anchor again. So that basically that's another hazard. Um, are you going to gear up or anything like that? No. I can roll skid dice and hope I don't get any hazards. Shift, and I'll reroll this one. I'll just get rid of those. Okay. So how many hazards are you at now? Three. Three hazards. Mm-hmm. Okay. So basically, you're just using your tanker to drag you back or to hold me in to place. hold you in place interesting yep. okay so now i'm going to unload my mini guns and everything else i have on you okay so red running has two side mounted mini guns and then you have three guys with handguns yes okay so mini guns are four dice each so that's eight yep. plus another th three for your crewmen so 11 dice Let's see 10 11. okay 11 dice big money okay one Two, three, four, five, six. So six hits. And I'm going to try to evade with my three. And I didn't, so I take six. Which brings me down to seven. How many hull points do you have? Uh, eight. Eight. Okay, so we're getting whittled away. Mm -hmm. We may not make it to our destination. And then the only thing I have left in this gear is my BFG. And then you get a gear four and I don't because I'm in gear three. Right. We will try the hairpin turn. Oh, I think that's not going to work though. It'll think, crash. I think I'm going to run into you. I kind of run into his tire. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm doing a smash attack. Are you going to smash back or evade? I'm going to smash back. Okay. So a T-bone or a side swipe. Yeah. So we're even, so there's no plus or minus. Okay, so I do three and you do another three. I do four. You do four. I do one. And I do... Four. Four. So I'm down to six. What are you at? Nine. Nine. Oh, Skull Blazer hasn't taken any damage. Okay. He's been kind of going around and okay. around everybody. Now we're in gear four. Yeah. And I don't get to move. So here's where your high speed pays off. So I'm going to do a medium straight. Okay, so medium straight, I get one shift for just having it. And then I get to roll three for being a car. Shift, shift, shift. 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 I'm going to get rid of all of my hazards. All right. And gear up to five. 
Okay, you're up to five. Live large. So okay. I will move him here. All right. And then I will shoot you. Okay, your machine gun turret and your crew are going to fire at uh, him. the compensator. Two hits. Two. Two hits. Three evades. And I evaded one. So one damage, that takes him down to five. Okay, so my tanker is going to sit there again. Okay, so your war rig is just going to do a tanker anchor, so he's going to uh, burn, take a point of damage, take a point. And he takes point. one hazard for being articulated. And you're unloading everything at the war rig. Okay. Eleven dice. Not much, though. Okay, that's two, three, four... Five, and he can evade with three. He's only got seven hole points left. And so, okay, so he took five. Yep. So he's down to two hole points. Okay. There's gumbo leaking all over the place. Okay, gear five, skull blazer. He's going to swerve. So skull blazer is going to swerve. That's a hazard. Shift slide spin. He's going to roll these two again because he's on the road. Shift, shift, shift. 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 All right, so. Even as you're leaving the board, you're going to fire your machine guns and your rifle at the compensator. Nothing. And nothing. So. Pole position goes to pole you. Pole position goes to me. The uh, Skull Blazers getting ready to drive off the edge. The uh, compensator has a bead on... Um, your war rig and your war rig is buzz sawing through my war rig. So, shall we see what happens? Let's see what happens. Okay. We finally made it to turn two. Okay, I'm going to activate my war rig. Take one point of damage for fire. One point of damage for fire. That takes him down to one, so he's almost, he's just a wreck. He's going to die. Try to get rid of some hazards. Shift, shift, shift. All right, I will get rid of three hazards. Then, let's see, have I used all my caltrops? I can't remember. Yes, you okay. did. So I've you used gave all my... me six points of damage already <laughs> on my poor rig. <laughs> Dump six points worth of caltrops on you. My uh, rockets are facing the wrong direction. Okay, possibly for Shushko Bubba's final act, they're going to fire four pistols at the war rig and uh, lob a harpoon. Here's the, we'll do the crewman shots as uh, blue, and then the harpoon is five. And maybe before you blast me into smithereens. Okay, so three, four points of damage from the handguns. One harpoon. So what gear are you in? I'm in four. Okay. No, no evades. No. Okay. So you take uh, four whole points from the um, handguns. Okay. What does that bring you down to? Three. Three. And then the harpoon... Oh, you spin right. and collide with you. Well, not necessarily. Because I only did one uncancelled hit with the harpoon. Right, but when you twist me, I'm going to run into you. Well, let's see. I think you would move it all as one. Okay. And then I crash into I guess. You. Yeah. All right, would you say that's a smash attack? Well, they're crashed. Okay. To the back end. Is that, that how you would do it? Yeah. It's sort of open to interpretation. So I'm in gear three. You're in gear four. Yeah. We're both heavyweights. Yeah. It's a side swipe. So I roll three and you roll four. Yep. Are you smashing or evading? I'm smashing. Okay. I've Smashed. only got one whole point left and you're going to riddle me full of minigun holes. Okay. Four. Okay. I did four whole points. You better do at least one. And you did five. Okay, so we're both dead. So we both, okay. We both, so, and we're both on fire. So and we're whatever. both on fire. Wrecked. Short, straight forward. Okay. Short, straight forward would, would crash you into that wall, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, short, straight forward, become a wreck. Explosion check, D6 plus ammo tokens. Okay. So I have three unexploded rockets. Uh -huh. You don't really have anything. Three or higher for me to explode. Okay. Three. So I explode 66, but it's in a medium. I think everyone's out of range anyway. Yeah. 
And yours would be a six plus to b explode because you don't have any ammo tokens. Okay, I need a six. Come on, go six. Five, so you don't quite explode. Yeah. So you become a wreck. Okay. Run into the concrete barrier. And um, I guess that's that. Okay, so you're in gear five. I'm limited well, what to the... What template are you going to pick? I'm going to do the long and run off the road. Okay. Go so into oblivion. you're going to do the long straight. And escape into the oblivion. And uh, not roll any skid dice. And go off into the wasteland and tell the people at Crater City that uh, Red Running won't be uh, competing in this yeah. month's event. Yes. And you have to run off and tell them that the gumbo's not coming. Yeah. And now there's gumbo all over the road and it's creating an oil slick hazard. And the people of... Uh, Los Andreas uh, out there on the new west coast are not going to get their prime sandworm gumbo that they've been craving. So uh, sad day all around for uh, the Gaslands community. All right, folks. Well, that is our uh, great uh, Gaslands war rig confrontation out on the Hellscape Highway. Um, Lynn, what did you think? There was lots of carnage. <laughs> there was lots of carnage. I only had one whole point left. So had I not uh, forced that final collision, I think it would have been perforated by minigun bullets. But I never got to use the BFG. I think I got a little aggressive about trying to maneuver him. So maybe at a future date, uh, the Blazing Skull and uh, the Compensator will meet out on a lonely highway. They'll get their other rigs repaired and come That's back right. for a second round. That's right. Okay. Well, folks, as always, thanks very much for watching. If you like the things we do here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And visit us online at our website, skirmishwargames.com.